Hey, what up, y'all? Mr. Cruz here, the hardest worker in the room, back with another BandLab tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you can import MIDI tracks into BandLab. Let's go. All right, so what is MIDI? MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. All that really means is it's a fancy way of saying that um, these MIDI files, you can import them into DAWs or into programs kind of like BandLab. And what BandLab will do is it'll recognize the notes, it'll recognize the tempo, and it'll import all of that stuff into your session. So that way you have this composition or this piece of music or this loop and you can um it'll, it'll recreate it almost the way that it was intended to by the person who created the midi notes um the other thing that it lets you do is it allows you to change the notes so you have a lot more flexibility than you would let's say if you were using a loop if you see my previous video um the advantage is that like with a loop it, I'm, I'm stuck with whatever I got. With a MIDI track, what you can do is you can change notes around, uh, you can change the, the the sound of the instruments, you can change different patches. You have a whole lot more things that you can do with MIDI that you can't do with a loop. So that's kind of just my little introduction into that. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can do that and what it'll look like. It kind of will make sense if you don't know what MIDI is, it'll make sense when we kind of import it. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I need to find a MIDI track. So let's go to, I'm gonna open up a new tab uh, and in here, let's type in Zelda Music MIDI. And boom, let's go here. And let's say I wanted to do like a remix to the Zelda theme song. So I'm gonna download that. Uh, and I'm going to go over here. Now you kind of have two different options. I can literally click and drag this into my session, or I can go to import audio slash MIDI or and MIDI. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to upload. So now if I press play, it'll sound like the Zelda song. Mm, I don't want to play the whole thing because then I'll get copyright strike. But there you go. Now I can do a whole lot of things here. Uh, so let's go. I'm going to go ahead and change my instrument. And let's say instead of a piano, I wanted some synth keys. Uh, let's go with this one. Uh, let's say I didn't like that. Uh, let's go with some synth leads. Actually, no, that's going to sound bad. Uh, let's go with some strings. Um, do we have like a pizzicato? Yeah, right there. Bam. So you can do that obviously like, and I can go in here. Let's say if I didn't like that note and I wanted to move it, I can do a whole bunch of different things here that I, I can add notes to it. Whole lot of flexibility, whole lot of creativity, and it just does not limit you to what you would normally have limited if you were just using a loop. So anyways, that's what I got for you guys today. Hopefully it's helpful. Let me know in the comments below any other band lab tutorials you guys would like to see. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit your boy up. <clears throat> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Anyways, that's what... So that's what I got for you guys today. Hopefully it's helpful to you. Hopefully you learned something. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other band lab tutorials you would like to. <clears throat> that's what I got for you guys today. Hopefully it's helpful to you. Let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions for any other band lab tutorials you might want to see in the future. Outside of that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy, Mr. Cruz, out.